An Islamic cleric, Sheikh Kwamaruddin Akorede, has admonished Nigerian engineers to always be upright and professionally stand out in the execution of contracts which, if badly carried out, could lead to the loss of lives of the people. Sheikh Akorede said Allah has created everything for the engineers to use innovation and technical know-how to bring it to reality for the benefit of mankind. The Islamic scholar was speaking at the maiden edition of the Nigerian Society of Engineers Ikeja Branch Ramadan Lecture in Lagos, stated that no development can be recorded without the engineers who brings the humanity tools to make life worthwhile. According to spoken, the team engineering technology in Ramadan, coping with work and faith, said Almighty Allah has the utmost knowledge of the time of the season when new technology should come to help humanity in living a better life and the engineers are the people that bring it to reality. The chairman in SE Keja Branch Ramadan Lecture Planning Committee, engineer Tajuddin Ibrahim, explained that the team was to reawaken the consciousness of engineers to always be upright in their dealing and should not compromise quality of the service delivery. The vice chairman, NSC Ikeja engineer Nimot Muili, urged Muslim engineers to upload ethics of the profession and never cut corners in their respective field of engineering. We encourage our Muslim brothers, engineers, uh, to have faith in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, to work and to be honest. Uh, and uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will ask them in the day of judgment or, with, or on whatever they, they have done in this uh, dunya. Uh, that's why uh, I will encourage everybody. Uh, to let our children uh, to join the course in engineering. Engineering is very useful for humanity. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created everything for us. Allah has created everything for you, but how to utilize all these things, materials, uh, has to do with engineering and technology. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant our children uh, the stand of religion and uh, the best understand of uh, their studies. We supposed to be intentional about what we do as engineers, as professionals, the people we work with, how we go about our daily activities, how to best make use of technology to ensure that we don't impact the environment negatively. We've been talking about climate change, but as Muslim professionals and as Muslim engineers, when we do those things, as Allah has commanded us that we'll be accountable and we should be mindful of our fellow human beings. So the way we go about our work, we should be mindful of the immediate, the medium and the long-term effects in terms of the way we use material resources, the way we collaborate as well to ensure that we go about it in the halal way. The title of this uh, maiden edition of our public lecture, which is the Ramadan lecture, is uh, Engineering Technology and Ramadan, Coping with Work and Faith. This is very peculiar with what is happening in our country now. You'll be surprised. Yeah, yeah, we see a lot of our infrastructure getting uh, half issues. Infrastructure like uh, the road, the building, we have water, electricity, I think collapse. We have collapse of electricity from the grid. We have collapse of building, just like uh, three days ago. We have collapse of uh, an eight-story building in a banana island. All these things become an issue to all that. And I want to to enjoy life. And I want life to be easy for you. Don't want things to be difficult. And that is where engineering comes in. Every day the engineer is thinking, every day he is coming up with innovation and technology. How can we make life easy? How can we make life, make life cheaper for people? So if engineering and engineers are doing wonderful in that area, then we should know that it is exactly what Allah wanted for life to be easy and enjoyable. Uh, for us.